Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Opalaca, Florida, where uh, J Town Press, Joey Surreal Camera, and Liberty Troll all decided to go to a building that Joey had been recently trespassed from. And, well, the two other Nimrods decided to go and do the same exact thing as Joey did. And guess what? They end up getting trespassed. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. When you come to this building, if you want any service here, show your government-issued ID, which is a license. As you can see there, that doesn't look pretty, doesn't it? They're already getting bullied out the building. They get trespassed immediately, folks. But I played it safe this time. Enjoy the video now. You guys never learn, don't you? You guys never learn, bro. I, I, I didn't get a chance to talk to you. I, 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 can, you can you come outside? Let's talk, let's talk. Because, you know what? Last time I came in here, okay. you know what I was told? That I was going to get arrested if I come in here before 5 p.m. Because you guys got a school Maybe in there. you come inside or you just walking by? Okay. Let's, let's not impede her way. Did you guys get trespassed? Yep. Why, why do you guys why do you guys do that dude you know joey uh last time you were at this building they mentioned that there was a school there which is the reason why you got trespassed and since you decided to uh, well grace that place with your presence again bringing these other two numbskulls along i decided to do my uh due diligence and see if there was actually a school there or not and it turns out there is there is a school within that building that does have children in it, you dumbass. So why don't you just take a minute to do your damn research and realize, oh, maybe that's the reason why I got trespassed from this building instead of, well, saying, oh, it's against my First Amendment to get trespassed from this building. I mean, shut your damn mouth and realize that they are protecting the children that are in that building from numbskulls, nimrods, and idiots like you who may just take advantage of those children inside of that building. So you can make like a tree and leave. Get your sorry ass out of there and quit acting like a damn fool if, because that's what you are at this point. You are a freaking fool and a dumbass at this point more so than usual this is a police station you know it's our first amendment constitutional right to record so, you guys so, working in your so, official so, capacity so just like i told them okay right, we can only communicate if i listen to you and if you listen to me well, so i was talking if, first well actually i was talking you interrupted go ahead man right so I, I heard what you had to say i told them all they had to do was show id because we have a school on the second that's floor. not the way it works that's not the way the law works it's unconstitutional bro no that's not correct no. This, this, this is this, this whole is a building. public building dude 200 QSK. This entire building does not is not just the police station. That's where we wanted to go. It's a public building. So if you want to go, who to owns this building? Who pays for it? You can still go to the police station if you show ID. No, you don't have to show ID. That's not lawful. You guys are wrong. You guys never learned. Dude. Yeah, dude. That's not the way it works. Oh yeah, using the uh, reduce CO ad. Hitherum fallacy is a guaranteed method of getting you through those doors and getting your way. Not. I mean, calling this place Nazi Germany. Well, uh, dude, uh, I, have you ever actually talked to anybody who lived in Nazi Germany? Because, uh, I'm sure they would tell you that, well, this is not Nazi Germany because, well, people aren't being sent to concentration camps, you dumbasses. What's your name and badge number, ma'am? What's with the serious face? I don't know, because it doesn't look good right now. Every time I come here, you guys always bug out on me on the First Amendment. All the time, disrespect the First Amendment. You know, I was told that if I come in here before 5 p.m. that I was going to go to jail. How can you guys do that? Yeah, I'm outside. I'm not inside. You know, Joey, I just don't see what the whole deal is. I mean, 
if you show your ID, it would be no problem for you to go in there. And uh, as long as you don't go toward the school area, so much the better. But you just got to make such a big deal out of this. I mean, showing your ID is not a violation of the Fourth Amendment, you jackass. The, our Fourth Amendment right, our I'm privacy, that's not the way it works, dude. Fourth Amendment, I'm sorry. Fourth. You're talking and me listening and me talking and you listening. Go ahead, that's man, because this is frustrating. Well, you were talking, I want to hear what you were saying. No, I'm saying, what you guys are doing about IDing, everybody coming in there, that's unlawful. That's not the way the law works, man. Not to come in a building that we pay, to come to a police station and file some complaints. We can do it anonymously. You don't got to get no government ID from us and look up. You, that's not the way the law works, man. We do this all over the country. We know what we're doing. If you guys don't have that bullshit policy and, and, and trespass people without committing a crime, none of this would have happened. And then you wonder why you guys call us agitators. We don't agitate. Yeah. I'll, agitate. Yeah. I'll, the majority of the police department here in Miami calls us agitators, bro. You're not agitators? <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> yeah, all your videos are. Are you going around the country uh, getting trespassed pretty much everywhere you go because you go around just are arguing and annoying people to no end to the point where, well, they have to trespass you to get rid of you. And you just don't learn your lesson now, do you? Oh, I got it. How long are they trespassed for? Usually, based on previous uh, encounters, it's about six months that a trespass warning is, is valid. So they walk in there right now, they go to jail? They could, yes. They could? Or, yeah, or do they like go to jail? Or they could. It's, it's something that, I, that we can uh, practice discretion on. So can I walk in there right here? Have you been trespassed? All right, what do you think about this? Last time I came, I was told that if I come in here before 5 p.m. until the kids leave, I can't come in here and record. If I come in here and record, I'll go to jail. It, it will be hard for me to exactly. accurately speak on a situation. I, I paid it at. safe this time. Okay. I'm outside. You keep on going over the key words in this argument, completely ignoring uh, their significance. Number one is children. Number two is the time, which is 5 p.m. You can go into that building after 5 p.m. when the children are not there. Because you know what? Like I said, there is a school within that complex. And, well, there are rules to this kind of thing that involve uh, dealing with children at schools. In fact, they are the laws within the state of Florida that deal with children and schools. So you might want to get to reading them. And especially the uh, laws dealing with dealing with children and families because you know I, i've had to read those laws myself and well if you want a good 300 page read then start there dumbass this is my captain call okay all right excuse me okay yeah. Have a good day. you guys got all the information yeah. that you needed right get back to work you're dismissed bye-bye <laughs> you're dismissed bye-bye you are dismissed kick rocks right there you're missing one that would be the walk of shame this is actually the walk of shame yeah this is a real place work, guys kick it kick it Hey, all right, guys, we're out with Liberty Troll, J Town Press, and that's what you have it. Good old old Palaka, guys. There you have it. These three people right here are certainly pathetic excuses for human beings right here because they were told over and over again that the rationale behind the trespass was because there is a school in that building and that they had to show their ID to get into the place. And that is why they got trespassed to begin with. And so therefore, because these officers were protecting the children within the building from uh, criminal scumbags like this, they're the ones that are taking the walk of shame? No. That is you three punks you, that are taking the walk of shame. The police officers are doing their job to protect the children from people like you. So go cry me a river and build a bridge over it, you three incompetent buffoons. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro?
Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?